Actually, I, I can't do this. Oh wait, or can I do this? We're gonna talk Murphy Bar furniture. With oh, Michael Alm. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen Michael? Mostly he's just walking around filming. Michael Alm? Yeah. I've been up in the office. Let's go find him. Yeah, let's go find him. We gotta get to right. the too. Michael walking around? Uh, last time I yeah. saw them, they walked through the lumber yard. Okay, we want you and your expertise on building things. I have been told that the entire time. Yeah. Where are you gonna be? In the turret. All right, I will meet you there. Okay, it is so hard to arrange people nowadays. I know. I'm quitting design, I'm becoming an internet personality. Internet personality? Yeah, full time. Did that go on my resume? All of us do too much. But then we have to film things. Hey Scott, have you seen Michael Alm walking around anywhere? Michael Alm? Yeah. All right. Oh, I thought he had a. Gentlemen! Oh! I spotted Michael Alm! We got eyes on the target. Good morning, good morning. Howdy. Just taking a tour around, looking at things? Yeah, we're just wandering. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you want to go talk Murphy Bar? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Michael's computer is bigger than mine. Way. Now I feel inferior. It's not the size of the screen that matters, Michael. What are you doing? It? <laughs> Murphy Bar. Murphy Bar. Mm. What is it? First principles. So, Murphy Bed is yeah. a bed that folds up into the wall. The Murphy Bar is a bar that folds up into the wall and has storage behind it for all liquor bottles and drink glasses and stuff like that. It's designed to look good both open and close. I built it like, what, five years ago or something like that. My buddy's been using it for like the last couple of years. He stores board games down below and uh, plays board games on top of it. The way that he uses it, they fold it up. His partner uses the lower section for yoga and then he folds it down and they eat dinner at it every night. So he uses oh, it for yoga? Not the actual yeah. Murphy part. Use the room. Use the room. Use the room. Ah, yeah. So it's like small space living. I use a Murphy bed. I have a oh, tiny really? house, so me and my wife sleep in a Murphy bed every night. I fully understand the concept. I love it, it's great. Cool. So the idea is you can't make them on scale because exactly. you're like one guy in the tiniest shop I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we have a gigantic furniture factory. So the idea is like, can we make your Murphy bed and sell it to people, yeah. which would be pretty awesome. Pictures, pictures there didn't happen. Yeah. Or a video. We can link, link in the, the doobly-doo. Yeah, oh, well. Oh, right, right. Here. Link. I think it's a great design. It's like very asymmetrical, the shelving and stuff like that. Looks very clean when it's up, looks mm. very clean when it's down. Um, feels good to be against. I see this as like a high end prophecy level product. What are your thoughts, Castaldi? I agree with Jason on that 100%. This is definitely not like a MGT product. It's got like a grate on the bottom. What is the deal with that? So he had a floor vent. He had a, like a, oh. a floor heater, so, like, uh, blows, so it blows the air out of it. It makes it look a little more bar-like. I don't know what, like it's, it looks. It's a nice detail, yeah. You do see that sort of thing in like restaurants and bars and stuff. So I would almost keep that and maybe make it like a door or something so like yeah. you can store stuff in there. He didn't have back legs on it here. We just uh, sort of cut out this area right here to relieve for the floor vent. We should probably do that anyways, because like depending on baseboard, baseboard heat, yeah. it's kind of nice to not have, especially this is mounted to the wall. Yeah. You don't really need the back feet. It is important that it goes flush to the wall. So like most people yeah. have like six inch baseboards and down. How deep is it? It's only 10 inches deep okay. yeah, total. Right. This is almost shippable, like freight. Like it, it is, I don't even think you'd really need white glove for this. The top piece could be one, bottom piece could be other, and then the door could be a separate. It's like three packages that are actually pretty, what's like the overall size of this? So it was just under 24 inches wide. Okay. It's 89 and a quarter inches tall. It's under eight feet. I wanted to make sure like fitting whatever ceiling heights. So each piece is like two by four-ish? Roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very simple. Hardware. Anybody that watches Worm Life knows I fucking hate hardware. <laughs> the worst thing in the world. What sort of hardware does this utilize? Other than like the door hinges, which okay. were just European style standard. standard hinges. Yeah. The hinge for the the, the actual yeah. is a piano hinge. That's in right there. on the bottom there. Yeah. To attach it to the top. Exactly. Okay. The legs just have a basic mortise hinge. That's over here. Because those here. legs like Whoop. It like folds up like that. Yeah. The weird hardware is there's like two little spring-loaded uh, pins. Oh yeah, like bullet catches. Yep. 
and they're a little spring-loaded like metal ball that pushes in and it's got like a little socket at the top when it goes up it clicks in on both sides so there's how, two of them how has that held up over the last five years we haven't noticed anything Still, i wouldn't want that to loosen up no, <laughs> the, the whole thing, whole thing would go up. they seem pretty tight in there like, like you have to pull to have it pop out is there any locking mechanism to lock the leg out the way that i designed the tabletop it has like a pretty decent lip right here that it rests on so it won't go lower Right. in that point. The risk would be if you like kick the leg out, that's gonna wanna drop, like yeah. maybe rip that hinge out. Does he have kids? He doesn't. Yeah, there you go, yeah. 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 yeah, we need to lock those. Uh, yeah, and one thing that I thought about when I first built this and didn't, didn't do was like when it's in the upright position, having some sort of locking mechanism here too. So if there were kids that could like, yeah, if a kid pull pulled it down. it down on themselves, that'd be pretty awful. Definitely consider child tippiness. So those kids just want to freaking kill themselves. Yeah. That's their main goal. <laughs> and then the other thing that I think would be really cool to add is lighting into the bar cabinet Ooh. section. Oh. I do hate electronics. <laughs> More than I hate hardware. Yeah. <laughs> Only because they fail. Wow. We'll just send us a, a section of Christmas lights. <laughs> You're saying you would rather like integrate, like route in like LED strips or something like that? Kind of nice, yeah. The problem, I mean, it'd be nice to have it plug into the wall. <laughs> you're losing me. Every, the more you talk, the more you're losing me. We've always shied away from electronics and furniture, especially the high-end heirloom furniture, because it's like, the charts change so quickly. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. four years ago, everyone was like, well, how come you don't have USB-A ports in your prophecy? Mm. It's like, what do you want now, USB-C? What are you gonna want in five years? Fucking induction charging. Like, mm. the technology is always changing. I don't like putting, changing technology into heirloom furniture. Maybe we just keep it as like, maybe we sell pucks that add on. Yeah, that's what you're seeing. Yeah, because like that, that's not an unattractive solution right there. No. Looks great. What do you think about putting a, a mirror in the back of the upper section? Oh. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. It really reduces the ability that we could like yeah. ship this. Yeah. Like I like the mirror idea, but it's like, if that excludes it from just freighting it, I don't know if it's worth it. Bar stools. Bar stools. Obviously. I that too, yeah. Obviously. Designing bar stools for it. That mm. needs to happen. Murphy, Murphy bar stools. Yeah. <laughs> they fold up into the wall. Whoa, if you could have fucking bar stools that like <laughs> stored into oh the- Oh my God. That would be cool. I have to think on that. That's a great idea. That's a tricky one. Doug's here. What's up, Doug? Hey, -o. Hey, sorry. Late. Uh, one question. How many bottles of alcohol does this thing hold? <laughs> the most important one. I'm just curious. No one has that. Ten? Ten bottles. Like Ten bottles? Okay. Ten bottles. I, do you want a challenge slash scary thing? Or like, it's, it's difficult. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? But if, have you ever designed stools? Uh, oh, we already uh, talked uh, about that. Hey! Murphy yeah. stools. stools. That <laughs> fold up and either hang on the side or yeah. tuck into the bottom cabinet. Oh. Incorporate right in. <laughs> That's yeah. an interesting idea. Uh, Murphy stools. Go check. What price point do you think, Jason, looking at this, do you think? It looks nice. Starting, 3,500, 4K. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's so much money. Am I, am I way off? I don't think you're crazy. No, I mean, you know, maybe 225, but I think it's Ooh. maybe. Not the only thing furniture's hard, guys. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mike? Like, what? what I want My to gut was saying 3,500. 30, yeah. That's a very well-designed, good-looking piece of furniture, I think. It is. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty far away from that sort of thing to begin with. I know you just asked for a gut check, yeah. but like the Prophecy line of furniture does a lot more veneer work. So sort of depending on where we land on construction, joinery, materials, I'm sure that heavily influences the price. Yeah, I'm assuming this is solid wood. Solid wood for everything except for the bar top would probably be a, oh, veneer, a veneer panel. Uh, the back would be veneer plywood as well. I'm actually leaning towards not even doing the veneer on that because of the skirts. The solid. Like, I, think we should, I think we should just try it. I think the first step would be like, we'll get this model to probably like the engineers and Crazy Ed down in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Just be like, make one. We could have Josh Watson start to design the packaging. We should just have Crazy Ed build two and we should throw it in the mail and send it to you. Ah. Yeah, I oh. like that. See how he says? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, pitch it, pitch it. Does it work? Does it? That one works, yes. I'll be the yeah, judge of that. There's a wooden yo-yo. This is crazy. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That just 
Ooh, that's so cool. Got this. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, 